Hi and welcome back to Almost Solitaire. We are playing The Great War, Scenario 7, uh, which is the renewed British offensive in the Loos section, the Loos campaign more of, and the fifth uh, battle in our Loos campaign actually. Um, we have now reached turn 10. Uh, we, as the British, have four victory medals and so has the German player, so it's a pretty even even battle going on here. Um, as you probably remember, my left section is more or less wiped out now. I have a um, trench mortar there. That's it for that section. I have a pretty beaten guy here in the shell holes in no man's land dangerously close to this German bomber here and yeah things are not looking that good in those two sections but I have a push going on here on my right which is well would be my key to victory to gain a foothold in the trench get the medal by that and hopefully eliminate one unit could be this machine gun unit here. So let's uh, start up turn 10. And I have two cards. I could see a benefit of playing both of these in this moment. The replacement cards would really make sense to get this guy back to action, right? It's, uh, I mean, it's it could be eliminated pretty easily by the Germans and by that gaining another of these medals, but <clears throat> I don't want to be just sitting put there. I, I want to move on here. So I'm actually opting to uh, play the big show and do well, kind of a daring attack actually. I will move out in the open, I think. And hope I push back the Germans from the trench and, and gain ground. Um, also, why I decided to leave this guy as it is, is that if he would activate his bomber unit, I will play my trench foot on that guy so he don't move or fire during his turn. And by that hoping he will survive and then I can play the replacements because when I move up the guys here also I suspect that they will get hit pretty heavily next turn by the Germans if they get the correct card of course and then this card could be very handy so I will go for the big push this means I will roll for this scenario 6 dice and Soldier, symbols, activate infantry units, deadly die sides, machine guns or mortar, flag any battlefield units. I also gain HQ tokens for rolling those. Uh, and one really good thing with this card is that ordered units battle with one additional die. So let's grab six of these and hope. Well, basically, burst is the only bad thing, I guess, that I don't want. And a pretty good roll. What was the deadly die again? It was... Okay, machine gun or mortar. Sadly, I only have two of those, but well... I'll activate two. These are useless for me, but I also get, get to activate two infantry units or soldier units. So, I will do that in this section. I was hoping to get three or four activations here, so I could actually move up with a whole unit of infantry or the whole... Uh, I think this is symbolizing a brigade in this in this battle actually. But anyway, uh, I need to choose two. 
and as I said I will do a kind of a bold move now I will move these guys to open and close combat his machine guns there but this guy will actually only move up one hex he can put ranged fire there uh, yes that will do and we also got some mortar fire support here I think this guy reaches his unit right one two three four five six yes it's just within range for this guy so let's start with uh, let's start with this mortar she or he should get one die normally but he gets two thanks to the big show card ah uh, let's see if the Germans have anything to play nope so here goes we don't hit him, he ignores those two. Uh, let's fire with the other mortar as well. And he actually has two, a four hex, two dice attack because it's a four hex range to the bomber unit. So I actually get three dice there. That could be ouch. That could be good. Let's see. Okay, I got one burst actually. So one hit on his bomber unit. Not bad, and we also need to check if he bomber. his bomber is out. Nope, he's still there. Uh, but that, anyway, down to three strengths now, so I'm happy with that. Now for the important part here, what should I do first? I think, I think I go with a ranged fire first and then hope he stays put and then I'll hopefully will grab that trench with a close combat. So I get three dice for the ranged combat and I'm hoping for some bursts now. One burst but nothing else. Well good enough I hope because I hope to finish this business now as I said. So I actually get four dice for my close combat. Not bad at all. So I would need to roll well two bursts or deadly dice would be preferable. But I would also actually be happy with two flags so I push him out of the trench and can jump in myself. Okay, here goes. Actually he can only ignore one in close combat in trench. So I got three hits of in. I needed two, so he's eliminated. And I will gain ground. Nice. And I get one victory medal for that. And you know, this scenario ends at six medals. I am now in his trench so I am actually putting a lot of pressure on the German player now because if I manage to stay here to my next initial or my next turn basically I'll gain another one and I have one. So the German player needs to do one of two things. He needs to throw me out again to prevent me from gaining that medal and by that keeping the game alive or he could if he kills two units on my on you know, his turn then he will have six flags and actually win the game but that's uh, not too likely I mean okay I have that one strength unit there but otherwise my other guys are at full strength so I don't really see how that could happen okay so I have played my Big show, and actually, uh, okay, I will grab a card first of all, and that's a probe center. Well, 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 okay, and I have five of these two cards. I mean, cards are good in this in this situation, I guess. 
Oh, all right, this is actually maybe a winner, game winner, because I can play this on his turn, right? Meaning, and I target all my units, they will hold at all costs, so they will not retreat, they will ignore all flags. So I'll play it, I think, and you know, this guy will really hold at all costs, so he needs to eliminate this guy to, to win the game. Or actually not win the game, but to prevent me from winning the game. Yeah. But anyway, we need to stick to the rules, and the rule says that if you play the big big show, I need to shuffle both decks. So I will do that uh, and be right back after that. Okay, the decks are now shuffled or reshuffled and well let's check for what the Germans have for their turn 10. This is really exciting actually, I mean he needs to destroy that guy. So let's see. He got himself a probe right, and that's not even close to what he wants to have. I'm, I believe, he wants to activate here, right? So this was, this was a bad luck to draw this card now. So he needs to activate two units there, and. Well, he could play the trench raid. But let's see. Ah, four hexes. Okay, he needs to close combat, so he cannot use this to do ranged combat. You know, I was thinking if he could do the trench raid, run via the trenches here, battle me there for last desperate try, you know, and... But that would not work. The thing is, he only has one... ...unit in this section, but he could activate his... Uh, ...his artillery also. I mean, that, that's his last chance, basically. But... <clears throat> yeah, so he activates that and the artillery. Let's see if it plays the trench raid. I think that would make a lot of sense to do now. Okay, he did that. So he played the trench raid. He would play three for that, but... Remember, I have this trench foot card. Play when the opponent is moving a soldier unit. One enemy soldier unit may not move or battle this turn. So, you know, first he pays this three to for the trench raid. Then, you know, he is opting to move four hexes here. One, two, three, four here to attack my lone guy there. But at that moment he's moving. I'm playing the French foot, which actually leaves him in place. That cost me one. And those poor fellows are left there. Saving my guy here, but we still need to check the artillery barrage here because could it be very lucky to destroy my guy there? He anyway gets one, one 
um, metal, and that could have probably not, but it could change something in the in the campaign status. Uh, anyway, let's do it. So he has three left. That gives him a four strength barrage now. So we roll four dice, and he needs to get you know doubles or basically the same same to hit the center axe here. So let's see. Okay, he got one of those. So he got two dice there, meaning he cannot destroy me. He will not get get any victory medals for that. But let's roll anyway. So he hits me for two actually. That was a direct hit. And that's it. We would grab him another card normally, but we don't have to because now it's my turn. And since I now have a guy here, I get the temporary victory medal. Giving me six. And game over. So, a bit of a anti-climax here in the end when he got this card right he would have needed the an activation there it could be get a bit tense if he would have been able to activate that unit and attack me um, but my trench food effectively prevented that Another thing I thought of, you remember, I think it was in the last turn, or maybe the turn before, he played the short supply card, moving back one of my... Yeah, it was actually this guy who moved back to my baseline. I mean, that card would really be handy for him now, right? He could have played on, on those guys and forced them back to my baseline here. And by that, first of all, getting that guy out of the action and also preventing me from getting that last medal at least for this turn but anyway this is how it how it went so yeah I think this, this, this was fun I will do a quick math of the campaign points here and by that we are at the end of the Lost campaign actually. Um, yeah, I'm back in a moment. Okay, so this battle ended with six medals against four. Six medals for the uh, British against four for the Germans. Um, and if my memory doesn't fail me, I think we have a status where the Germans had 20 and the British had 17 before this battle and that would mean the British now have a sum of 23 and the Germans have a sum of 24 medals uh, resulting in a draw campaign no one really gained any uh, benefits from this battle they are more or less back where they started and well before this battle it was actually the Germans were actually on the verge of getting a, a tactical victory they needed one more indifference uh, so if they would have four medals indifference that would be a tactical victory for them so, and they had three before this battle but the British managed to prevent that um, what else about the campaign? Well, some things I noted was, of course, the play of combat cards for the AI part is some, sometimes it feels really bad when, when an obvious card isn't played, right? I mean, you, you have a, maybe a game-winning situation and uh, 
uh, I do a close combat and the AI have a button bayonet card or something like that and they don't play it to you know combat back and that's just weird but <clears throat> and, and also I have noted that out of five scenarios I played now I won four the AI won once so maybe not that's not that good of a ratio right it's maybe too easy to win as to against these AI rules um, so what to do I'm opting for I, I kind of like the idea that you know I, I as the well the player get, get two command cards always and choose one I like that and the AI actually draws random ones but that's also weird sometimes you know in this last turn of the the scenario we just played I mean uh, it was crazy to get this activate right hand side when the action was on the left and also you know we were seeing the end of the, of the battle as well so but anyway I like that so I don't really think I will tweak that for now but I was I think of two two things to tweak regarding the combat cards you know before we s I have played that the AI player will activate the combat card if they roll a soldier symbol that's two chances of six uh, maybe I could, you know, boost that so they it's a 50% chance at least, right? So for maybe for the next game I will try out saying if a green symbol is rolled then they activate it. So that would mean these guys plus this this one. Then Yeah, that then will they will play the the card. Could be some other thing. Also, you could I mean, this could be just activating the card. This could be something else as well. I was just thinking maybe ah no, let's go with a plane. I think I go with green symbol activate combat card. Now, I was also thinking, would it make sense? to prevent me from playing combat cards whenever I want. Maybe I also had have to roll actually to activate the card. Then it got don't get that obvious and and, and I mean that's a huge advantage for me to be, you know, just able to play them when I want. On the other hand, maybe it's enough with this rule that green symbols activate them for the enemy as well. Hmm. The thing I had in mind that I, I should also roll, and I also have fifty percent chance of playing a card I'm, I'm choosing. I need to think a, a bit of, uh, about that, and yeah, let's see. So, um, if you have any suggestions or something or comments. I'll be very happy to receive them and, and maybe maybe you have some thoughts of how the AI could be improved or make make it more of a challenge without changing too much and make it too complicated. I want to keep it easy and keep the flow on a fast pace. But anyway, um, Actually, I think I will put away this game for a while now uh, and probably I will play something else in between before I put it on the board on the on the table again uh, but I s for sure will do that because this was really fun I think so uh, maybe I actually go for a big one the sum some campaign maybe next time that would be a lot of scenarios to play but let's see 
and also let's see what I will play next I have I have a, a, a game I'm, I'm really interested in testing out so maybe that will be my next and, and that's actually uh, Men of Iron uh, which is medieval combat okay anyway uh, thank you very very much for watching this and I hope you have watched the uh, the whole campaign to see how it evolved. If you did, maybe you have some com have some comments about it, and please share them with me in that case. Uh, otherwise, I hope you will come back, and maybe you are also interested in checking out the Men of Arm uh, Men of Iron game and see how that works. Because I will be playing that next time. I'm pretty sure of that. Okay. Bye for now.